this is uh, Jay Hawk Scott again, and I'm here today to do kind of a product review a little bit and just kind of talk about my um, water flow within my display tank and what my, my plans are. As you can see here, I've got a pair of uh, Tunzi 6105 um, pumps, and these are controllable pumps. Um, so, and this is going to be my first adventure into a controllable power head. Now, what, for those that don't understand what a controllable power head is, it's something that you're able to vary the flow. Uh, and you're able to ramp up and down uh, the flow on the, on the pumps um, very rapidly and very quickly to, to allow you to create kind of a, a wave action within your within your tank instead of having a pump that's just on all the time where you you know you kind of create the exact same flow throughout the tank all the time by placing these pumps on different ends of the tank and alternating how they come on and off you're able to create an oscillating kind of wave within the tank and so it looked more natural and 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 stuff like that so <clears throat> these pumps, these Tunzi pumps aren't cheap. Um, I can't honestly remember. I, I bought them quite a while ago. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll put on the price on the screen, but I think they're around three hundred dollars a piece. Uh, these I bought new. Obviously, I still got them in the box. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox one of them here. But I just before I get into that, uh, I'll talk about a little bit about what else I've got here. Um, in addition to the pumps, I've also got, um, this is my Apex module right here. It's my VDM module and that's what it looks like. And this is what will control my pumps. I know that uh, Tunzi makes a separate controller that you can buy to control the, the water pumps, um, but I didn't do that. This cable here, I got this from Bulk Resupply, is a, it's a two-channel Tunzi stream cable pump. So this will plug, as you'll see, this plugs right into, into here, and then this, this end, let me zoom out a little bit. So you get one side plugs into the, the VDM module, and then you got the two plugs that'll plug directly into uh, my, my pumps. And so, from this module on my controller, on my Apex system, I'm going to be able to control the, uh, the Tunzi streams. By using my controller, I can program in a lot of different special functions. I can alternate, or I can vary the, uh, um, the strength of the, of the current, maybe at night, slow the current down a little bit, make it a little more a little stronger during the day. If I have a feeding pattern, say if I wanted to turn off the pumps during a feeding pattern, I could do that. Uh, if I wanted to feed my corals, or if I had a separate, just regular feeding the fish, which you probably wouldn't want to turn off your your circulation pumps on, uh, I leave those on. But I could turn off my return pump, and so by using the, the controller you're really able to do a lot more than what you can do with just a, a basic wave controller uh, for made for just the pumps so but let's go ahead and open up the one here and see what we got inside this uh, is not my first run around with with Tunzi I've had uh, several Tunzi products and I found them to be very high quality um, of course you got the instructions and Tunzi is made in Germany, so you got 50 different languages uh, that they come in. Okay, and let's see, pull out the pump here. Um, and there's the pump. That's a pretty big dude. And these are the new wide stream models. And you can see if you put this, replace this with that on there, you're going to get a much wider flow. Uh, this here is the power supply that comes for the pump. 
and everything just plugs into that and so but as you can see here is the the plug that my controller will plug right into so that will work slick as snot um, these are a little bigger than I thought they would be they're um, one of the things I like about the Tunzi pumps is you have a lot of flexibility on where you want to aim them um, yet they're very easy to take out and clean they come with really strong magnets uh, one of the things you'll see most people out now either have one of two types of, of pumps on the controllable side seem to be the Tunzi's um, or the Ecotex um, but uh, I can't run the Vortec pumps, those are the Ecotech pumps, because of my canopy. My canopy on the side of my tank, um, most people's canopies just sit on the top of the tank. Mine comes down on the side as well, and there's not enough space between the glass and the canopy to put the, the motor on the outside of the glass, so I don't have that option. <clears throat> this magnet is much smaller. Uh, I'm either going to put the magnet on the outside of the glass or I've actually considered putting the magnet on the inside of my overflow box and then having my Tunzi sit kind of like that. I think uh, that's probably the way I'm going to go with it just so uh, you actually see less of the pump uh, in the water but with my overflows and my background all being black I think that uh, you really won't see a whole lot of it. So anyways I'm getting ready to to put these into the um, into my tank here shortly and so I'll be able to start talking about how they work in the water but uh, this is just kind of a basic unboxing of the pumps and so but uh, they're pretty nice I mean they are really really well built pumps and uh, it's just you know it's like anything else in this this hobby when you get started you know everybody goes out and buys at least I did go out and buy a lot of equipment that's pretty inexpensive you know I, I've run the maxi jet plump pumps for uh, wave makers and, and they work okay but you know at the end of the day if you really want to do it right you really got to spend the money and get something good and uh, there's not a lot of price difference between the vortex and the Tunzis there I think they're probably pretty comparable pumps, um, but uh, uh, like I said, I didn't I didn't have the option of the of the Vortex, so so the Tunzies are the way I'm going. So I'm looking forward to getting them hooked up, and uh, I will shoot another video as soon as I get them hooked up, and uh, let you know how they're working. So this is uh, Jayhawk Scott signing out for now. Um, I want to say again, thank you to all my subscribers and welcome all my new subscribers. If you've got any questions. Uh, or if there's anything that uh, you see in this video that you'd like to know more information about, please just uh, shoot me a note and I'll be sure to get back to you. And um, that's it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.